Good everyone, B Agent Dad here. We're going to look into these two Lenovo ThinkPad X13 Gen 1. Now on our left here, we've got the Intel i5 version and on our right, I've got the AMD Ryzen 5 Pro version. Now I'm not gonna do an in-depth review of the Lenovo ThinkPad X13, because I've actually covered that in the X13 Yoga video, in-depth review video, and I did look at the features of the computer as well. And I'll leave that to you. If you haven't checked that video, I'll put a link in the description below. So in this video, I'm really going to be very much covering the fan noise, temperatures, as well as the performance between the AMD version and the Intel version. So I'm not gonna actually fluff around with this one, and I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a spoiler. <laughs> anyway. I do, before we get started, I just want to say this video is sponsored by Zen Space Desk. Now, Zen Space Desk do office furniture and things like stand-up desks like this one here and also monitor arms with these monitor arm holders as you can see. So, definitely, I have made a nice little talk to them and they've managed to give us a nice little deal for all my viewers. So, check in the link in the description below and you'll see a voucher code there. They do wonderful things and if you're international to Australia, uh, if you want to order them, do send them an email so they'll be able to hopefully arrange some sort of shipping for you there as well too. But they make very good high quality products too. Now, if you're also in the market for a monitor arm, I have created a buyer's guide to try and give you a bit of idea of direction on what to look for for monitor arms. And I'll put a link in the description below if you haven't checked that video out. Hopefully it will be very helpful for you. Now, first off, let's get started with the ports. Now, the difference between the Intel and AMD version here is with the Intel version, it does have Thunderbolt 3 support, whereas the AMD version does not. So you're pretty much at the USB 3.2 Gen 2 speeds. And with the, of course, with Thunderbolt 3, you get the quicker speeds there. So if you do need the Thunderbolt support speeds, then the Intel is what you're pretty much going to be looking at. So let's have a look at the battery life of these two computers. Now I did run it through my usual four different modes and I put up the times to here for you to actually have a look at, but overall the AMD is anywhere between 10 minutes to two hours better than the Intel i5 version here. So let's have a look at the temperatures and fan noise of the Intel and AMD X13. Now, when I took the measurements, my ambient temperature was 25 degrees Celsius. And as always, I do my base measurement when the computer was on idle, both were the same. So the hottest area of the keyboard on both of them were 33.5 degrees Celsius, and both of the fan noise hit a maximum of 29 decibels. So that's practically quiet. Then I put both computers on 20% load. So that's pretty much average juice. So tasks like office productivity work, surfing the web, streaming videos, and you'll find that the AMD version is cooler by one degree compared to the Intel i5 version at 40 degrees Celsius. And also you'll find that the AMD version has quieter fan noise, two decibels less than the Intel i5 version at 30 decibels. Then I put both of the computers on 50% load and you'll find that both were pretty much the same heat and the same fan noise as well. Then I put the both computers on 100% load and you'll find that the AMD version starts to heat up a little bit there at 47.5 degrees Celsius, which is about four degrees hotter than the Intel i5 version at 43.5 degrees. And But you do find that the AMD version is one decibel quieter than the Intel i5. Now, what's really interesting is that the Intel i5 version when it hits that 43.5 degrees Celsius, it's already hitting its thermal limit already. And you'll see that in the next section when I talk about the processor clock speed because it gets seriously thermal throttled. And I'll also show you the bottom back cover temperatures of both of the computers here. And you'll find the AMD is around about three degrees hotter. But again, this is also to deal with that the Intel i5 version is seriously thermal throttled. And if it was able to get some really good speeds out of the Intel i5 version, then I suspect that the temperatures on the i5 version should actually be a lot higher than the AMD version. Let's have a look at the Lenovo X13 Intel i5 version. Let's have a look at the behavior of the processor for the i5. So I'm just gonna start off the load of processor. I'm gonna run at around about nine load and then 100% for the RAM and hard drive. 
and I'll start the clock watch and we can then hopefully see how it performs in terms of speed wise and if there is any turbo ball floor drilling just to see how that goes so at the moment we've just gone up to 4 gigahertz and we're at a base clock speed of 1.7 gigahertz for this 10310U processor and it's just jumping up between 3.5 to about 3.9 and we just hit 30 seconds mark and it's around about 3.3 gigahertz and our core temperature is quite actually high there and it is around about 90 say an average of 95 degrees celsius and at one minute mark we're looking at about 3 to about 3.3 gigahertz here still and it's just pretty much going to stop there for a while and we'll just see how that runs for the next minute at a minute and a half I can definitely see that the core is still running around about 90 degrees plus and the core speed is about 3.3 to 3.1 gigahertz so it's doing pretty stable there and now we've just dropped to about 2 gigahertz, 2.5 gigahertz at around about 1.4 1 minute and 45 we've just dropped down below the 3 gigahertz and it's down, starting to drop now again 2 minute mark, you're looking around about 2 gigahertz and I've just dropped off completely and I've seen this happen a few times, I've done this a, few, a number of times so anyway between about the 2 minute to about the 3 minute mark or even sometimes about the 3 and a half minute mark well, I've just found that it seems to be the CPU is unable to concentrate for a long period of time and we get not only turbo throttling, we're getting a lot of turbo throttling here and it will just go down to about 0.4 gigahertz just to cool itself down before it was just running quite hot here around about about 90 degrees celsius on average and you can see it's now just trying to cool itself down so and this is now hitting around about clear and close to about three minute mark and that is absolutely something i am worried, worried about so definitely with the i5 there is something wrong and I've checked this is on performance mode I can hear the fan going off that's for sure so so this is running performance mode and I have got also I've checked in BIOS to make sure all the thermals are able to go at its max but this seems to be the case all the way through I've redone this windows twice and again it comes out to this sort of problem here where it does a lot of thermal throttling uh, and now this we can't get we can't actually regain the unionization back to 100% uh, unless I restart this thing off uh, for the processing of just load here so it's just pretty much cacked it uh, if I just start off off I'm just gonna wait for this to start it stop it and let's just crash that up and uh, yes and I'll just start it back up again and we'll just see straight up we'll go back up and now it's cacked it again so there is some serious thermal throttling here at the moment you can see so just to show you that in the i5 here with the Lenovo X13 AMD version now this one's with the Ryzen 5 and this one's been running on load for over three and a half hours that's again with the processor ram and hard drive and it's pretty much averaging anywhere between 2.5 to about 3 gigahertz which is above 2.1 gigahertz base clock speed so it doesn't have thermal throttling but it does have a bit of turbo throttling but still doing way way better than the intel i5 version as performance of these two computers, I'm going to put up the benchmarks results that I tested for these two computers. And you'll pretty much find that the AMD Ryzen 5 Pro version pretty much just walks over the Intel i5 version. The only thing the I, Intel i5 version has a little bit better performance in is its disk speed. But pretty much the processor, RAM and graphics, the AMD Ryzen 5 pretty much is way better compared to the Intel i5. Now, I am also not surprised by some of the scores because of the thermal throttling that's happening in the i5 version after two and a half to three minute mark. So that really hurts 
a lot of performance on this Intel i5. Now I have a feeling that maybe Lenovo may have to relook at the Intel i5 version of this, maybe a firmware update to try and fix some of those problems with the Intel i5 version to get a little bit more better performance. But at the moment, the AMD version is just way over there. So for me, temperatures, battery life and performance, the AMD is probably my recommendation if you don't need the V Pro or if you don't need the Thunderbolt 3 support as well. Now I hope you find this video informative or enjoyed it. If you did, or even to support my channel, smack that like button for me. And if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button on the screen screen. I do try to upload a new video every week. And also I do have a little membership going on. So let's click on join and there'll be a little bit of fee of every month for about five dollars 99 for here in Australia. Uh, I'm trying to do a little bit of, uh, to support my channel, We're trying to get a few perks in there as well too. And of course, as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.